All right, so in today's video, we're going to be installing a brand new stator. Uh, like I said, these two switch boxes in the last video, these two switch boxes are brand new. So I would hope that they, these are not the problem, even though I did get a weak spark on cylinder one, three, and five, which would indicate a problem with the top switch box. But like I said, it's brand new. Um, so let's hope that's not the problem, <laughs> which is not a good form of, uh, <laughs> hope is not a good form of uh, being a good mechanic. But it is brand new, brand new. I've tested all the coils. Uh, they test good. The trigger tested good. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this flywheel off and then install the uh, stator. So the first thing you want to do um, when you're installing a stator is uh, unhook the battery, which I did. So there's no power at all going to anything. Anytime you're messing with electric, you want to make sure the battery is disconnected. Right, so the next step, you just want to remove all the uh, cowling bolts. They're size 13 metrics. That way you can actually access the flywheel. After you got the uh, size 13, there's four in the back here and then there's two in the front here. You just have to remove the size 11. There's one, two, and then three. Okay, so now I got the uh, top cowling removed by the set side over there. I'm looking at the stator and these two wires aren't even connected, so the diagnosis is correct. A bad stator. You see that there. Alright, so now we're going to remove the uh, flywheel. Um, I do have a flywheel holder and a torque wrench and all that stuff. I'm just going to use this, this uh, impact wrench just to take it off, and then I got a puller for the flywheel right here. So. Yeah, yeah, I think that would cause a problem. Alright, so now I'm gonna pull got this snap on. Make sure it snaps on. Torque wrench. Yeah, this is definitely as easy as it looks. Cake. All right, let's get this off. All right, so upon removing it, the flywheel has shifted. Pretty sure the flywheel, I mean, sorry, the stator is supposed to be positioned somewhere like that, but the bolts aren't even, the stator bolts aren't even in. So, yeah, that's definitely a problem. Alright. Yeah, it's definitely not good. Hmm. Alright, so now that the flywheel is pretty much loose, which again should be oriented in this position. And the wires are coming through right here. Wait, not right there. It was all the way over here. Um, yeah, not a good situation. Not sure how I missed that, but I did. So now we're just gonna go through and just disconnect uh, all the wires from the switch boxes and the rectifier and the uh, ground. All right, so the stage is fully disconnected. Yeah. Hoping the holes can still hold it because replacing this is. Definitely no fun. Have to loosen these bolts and get a puller. Pull it straight up, and that's if you can get the part. But all right, well, let's get the new stator in there, and uh, I don't know if I can salvage this one or not. Yeah, I'll take a look at this later. All right, so now I got the new flywheel in place, and the positioning of the flywheel is important. Uh, this, the harness needs to be facing the switch boxes. Like it needs to be like right above them. And then you need to line it up with the holes here. So we're going to put, I was actually able to find another stator screw in my inventory. I'm going to put some thread lock on them and then uh, lock this puppy down as tight as I can because I don't want the same thing to happen where it slides and disconnects and causes a bunch of bunch of headaches. So we're going to do that and then we're going to connect the, uh, the two yellow wires. These go to your rectifier to charge the battery. Uh, the the red and blue wires with the stripe go to the top switch box, and then the solid go to the bottom. And then, of course, the black goes to your ground, which is uh, pretty self-explanatory. So, I'm going to do that. Let me get this tightened down first. All right, so the 
stator is installed. This bolt barely, I barely got that bolt in. Um, these are all tight. I think it's 30 foot pounds is what the, what it calls for, but I just tighten them. Um, let's see here. They follow down. I got the two yellow leads going to the rectifier to charge the battery. That goes there. And then of course I got the stripe, stripe red and blue going to the top. Then the solid red and blue going to the bottom. And why they made these wires so long, I don't know. Um, I just zip tied them right here just to kind of keep them keep them tucked in keep everything tucked in so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the flywheel back on I'm going to torque it down uh, 100 foot pounds is what it calls for and then we'll put everything back together and we're going to make it talk and see what happens all right so now I got the uh, arm stator hooked up which is going to give me the, uh, the current that's going to each coil so I'm going to retest it again and remember the target is 200 you definitely want at least 200 going to each coil so I'm going to go ahead and start it up turn out to be the stator so this engine should be good to go which makes me happy because uh, there's not very many uh, days left in this boat season maybe uh, two more months we're about mid-august right now so that's tops but um, I'll put a link in the description um, I got the stator from jet unit I'll put the part number down but uh, as far as I can tell everything looks good to go so I'm getting ready to take her out hey as always thanks for watching